Let's talk a little bit about sequencing, right? Who know what sequencing is? And um, you know, in order we do things. Who knows about that? So I, I'm gonna tell you, I got I got a sequence right now that's locked up, and it's like one of the toughest sequences I ever had to do. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. A B C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Was that? It's locked up in here. Right? Now, I don't know if y'all know how to do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, here's another sequence. Tell me what sequence this has to do or the order of things we have to do. Hearing, smelling, touching, feeling, seeing. Yeah. Yeah, more. Yeah. Well, I tell you, this is my order. Okay, this is the order of your senses, right? All right, I got one for you. You ready? You ready? Red, black, silver, green, blue, orange, gold, sometimes cloth. What? what? I got a snit. I got a Milky Way bar. If somebody can give me what? Red, black, silver, green, blue, orange, gold, sometimes cloth. Claw? Claw. Claw. C L A W. Is that Red. Well, let me say. Claw. Red, black, silver, green, blue, and orange. By the way, you Auburn and Florida fans, I hate saying blue and orange together. But I have to. Red, black, uh uh. Silver, green, blue, orange. Gold and sometimes cloth. What sequence would that be from? <gasps> Go. The best football teams ever. The best football teams ever. At least you tried. No, because blue and orange. Any blue and orange team would not be considered in that. All right. All right. So. No. 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 All right. So I know this guy. Okay. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? No. No. I know this guy. He sells the hardest product in the world to sell. Coca-Cola. Nobody wants that stuff. Yes. Nobody. Yes. Right. yes. Whoa, they do? Okay. I love Coke. You love? Okay. So, my that. team, guess what? They go out and they look for new business. They come to places like the Mustard Seed Cafe when it opened. And sometimes when a new movie theater opens or a new restaurant, the Brown Dog Deli, place like that on the square. My team goes in. And tries to secure that business. So, what I tell them is, you put a cooler in, there's a sequence and an order we do things. Red, black, so I want Coke and Coke Zero in there. Silver, green, I want Diet and Sprite in there, right? Blue and orange, I want Dasani water, and then I want orange Fanta, right? Or Fanta Coke. Orange Fanta. Then I want gold. What would gold be? Tea. tea. I want gold pink tea and sometimes claw. Oh sometimes I want the monster in there too. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. So that's the sequence. No, no. That's the sequence we use at my work. So everywhere you go, you're gonna have a sequence, right? Just like the planets, right? We got a sequence with them too. Who knows what the sequence is? I know. Miss no. <laughs> Go. Uh, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Uranus. And Pluto. Carson, please stop. Sometimes. Thank you. Sometimes. Since I was in school, they've added these dwarf planets. I don't know what them are. So, but they must have found some new planets. So, what I want to do, I'm playing a little game today. All right. So, well, we don't know about it. I need a volunteer from the girls. Carson, put your hand down. Uh, it's about come on. And I need a volunteer from the boys. Colton, let's go. And then I need a scorekeeper. Oh, me, I'm great oh, Haley, let's do it. I'll be on you know, let's double up on the teams. I need another girl. 
Come on. And I I need need to to Listen, y'all family. I ain't picking y'all, so you might as well put your hands down. Come on. Alright. So here's the game. Who am I starting? Alright, I need a team name from the girls. That's your team name. Boom! girls. Mongoose. Mongoose. A poodle. All right, here we go. Come stand right back here. All right, so this is how the game works. Are y'all paying attention? We have to go in what order? Tell them again. Up. Oh, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and the dwarf planet with Pluto. The dwarf planet is with Pluto. So, Whee! the name of the game, we're going to go in order. So, our first throw is going to be where? The Try me. The Sun. So, you see this white? All the way down, you got to line it up in here. They're worth a thousand points. A <laughs> thousand points. Every time, okay. Now, if you land on this black that's inside the white, I'll give you two thousand. And the bullseye all the way up counts. So you'll throw one, they'll throw one, and then we'll move on to the next. You get one shot, huh? Bullseye still a thousand. It's harder to hit that one than it is that one. Look how much bigger it is. So if you hit this one. All the way around. That's actually easier. Most of hit that one. Hey, it's my game. All right, let's go. All right, so thousand points. All right, y'all ready? All right, what is our two team names? Sharp Trojans. I don't know. Sharp Trojans. Let's give it up for the Sharp Trojans. And I don't know. Yes. All right. All right, y'all come back here. Y'all come back here. Who's throwing first for the Sharp Trojans? Someone. You will. All right, here we go. We're, who are you throwing at? The sun. The sun. All right, here we go. First throw. Miss. Oh, 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 Who's up? All right, here we go. You cannot miss this. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. No, that's in the white. It's in the white. Going for Mercury. Here's your chance. I don't know. I don't know. It's your chance. It's your chance. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up behind the scene. You're going for what? What are you going for? Um. You're going for Mercury. I tried to hit the buzz eye. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, zero, zero. All right, here we go. What are we going for now? Uh, Venus. Venus. Here we go. Black. Oh, nothing. Still a thousand. Going for Venus. Come on, Taylor. Eat it up right here. All right. What are we going for now? Earth, the greatest planet. The greatest planet. Here we go. Earth. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Earth. 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 All right. Bonus this ball. is worth 5,000 points. Oh. All right, here we go. Bonus ball. Oh. Mars. Oh. All right, bonus ball. Going for Mars. Here we go. We're going for Mars. 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 I 
Did not see it. The judge did not see it. Jupiter. Jupiter, here we go. Right here. Oh. Oh. Got to be on Jupiter. Oh, Jupiter. Right here. 5,000 to 1,000. All right, here we go. It's 6,000 to 1,000. Saturn. Go for Saturn. Oh! The pressure's building on them. Saturn. Oh! Uranus, here we go. Uranus, here we go. Oh! Uranus, let's go, Colton. Oh! All right, here we go. Neptune, go for Neptune. 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 Oh. Here we go. Ne hey, listen. Y'all can close it out right here. Close it out. Neptune. Oh. 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 Pluto. 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 Behind. Hey, what's the score? Hey. 6,000 to 1,000. 6,000 to 1,000. This is a 10,000 point score. Oh. y'all today the most beautiful woman in this world oh. I'm not there once in a while <laughs> will not be here today all right oh, oh I'm just kidding it's my bride Tiffany will be bringing the lesson y'all give it up for Tiff let's go <laughs> what about you Tiffany that's me <laughs> good morning everybody how are we we good everybody good yeah. all right we have such a special treat this morning who likes to start their day with a good smoothie for breakfast? Ooh. Me! Me! That's my favorite. Okay, so we're going to make a smoothie this morning. So I All do need, Mr. Jeremy, pick us one volunteer. Pick us one volunteer. Jeremy! 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 Jerem
Well, and everybody fixes my breakfast, and they get they make my bed, and they get my clothes ready. So I'm not I don't usually make my smoothie. Somebody else has to make it for me. Can you do that? Okay, so you can follow my exact directions. If I just sit right here and sit back, you can make that for me, right? Okay. All right. So the first thing that I want you to do is take that pack of strawberries and open the lid. Be very careful now. Don't open the lid wrong because I don't want you to mess up my perfect smoothie that I have for breakfast. Don't spill any. Just open the lid. Uh, uh, but today. It's not that hard. Donna, you need the parsley. No, he's got it. Okay. So take the lid off my blender. No, take the whole thing off. I'm getting kind of hungry though, so you're going to have to go a little faster. If okay. Pick now put off. all the strawberries into. Do we put them all? Yeah, yeah. put them all in there. I thought you were supposed to put them all Do not spill them. Spill them all. Carson, let's do that. Don't spill it. Keep going. A little bit more. One more. Put all of it in there. Just put all of it in there. Two more this technique. Okay. Now, close the lid on the strawberries. Oh, let's just let those strawberries rot. And now, just one banana. I need you to peel it, though. Be very careful, because if I get any peelings in there, I will not eat it. It'll be nasty. <laughs> you did wash your hands, right? Okay. No. Okay. So, yeah, put that down in there, too. Okay. So, um, now what I need for you to do is put, uh, get the measuring cups and measure out one cup of yogurt and put one cup of yogurt in there. Yogurt. Would you hush? This is my perfect smoothie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't mess this up now. This is the tricky part. Like too much yogurt, and it tastes like yogurt, but not enough yogurt. I love yogurt. And it doesn't taste yogurty enough. So don't mess this up, okay? Oh, that's a good scoop. Get a little bit more, Carson. Get a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Now just dump it all in there. Make sure you don't leave any in the, don't leave any in the measuring cup. Get it all out. Don't make a mess. Hit the, hit the thing. Okay, no, don't, don't hit Yeah, okay. like that. Now pour about that much milk. Can you do that without making a huge mess? Well, look, there's a paper towel. We got, oh. Okay, we're, that's we're nice. literally going to balance it on the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just pour some milk in there until I tell you to. Don't spill it. Uh -oh. Don't cry over spilled milk. Oh. Good, good pour. Keep going. Okay, that's good. Beautiful. Good job. Yeah, put the lid on the milk. That's probably a good idea. Okay. So now I need you to put the lid really, really tight. And hold it. Tight. Oh, that's not like there you go. Oh. Yep. Okay. So then you see this blackboard back here? I can't reach it. I need you to plug. It's okay. Put it back down in there. I need you to plug that whiteboard into the black one. You're blocking my view, I can't see. Okay. Yeah, that's okay, that's good. Alright, now listen, put one hand on top of the blender and then turn the blender on at the bottom. Use that hand. On the button. The one that says blend. I, everybody makes it for me, Carson. I don't know. I think it's on off. Don't turn it on off, turn it on. <laughs> no, that's not it. Like the smoothie but yeah. How about the one that all right, hit Okay, yeah that one. Okay. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Keep going. Check it out. Perfect smoothie. Okay, so now I take a cup. I'm getting thirsty. Come on. <laughs> and very carefully pour me a cup of your. No, 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 no. You see that thing on the bottom? Yeah. No, 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 no. Put the cup under it. Like
Yeah, there you go. There he is. Come on. No, we, this is not Ninja Blender. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We ain't busy. Come on. I need some. My mouth is perfect. Smoothie. What do y'all think? I need some. Okay, I'm going to take tests, okay? So we got to make sure it's perfect, right? You did a good job. High five. You can come live in my house. Can I have one? Yeah, we might have some left over in a little bit. So, have a seat. The dogs will keep working. So, Carson made me the perfect smoothie. And he did so excellent. Carson, is that the first smoothie you've ever made? Oh, uh, Yes, but yeah, I, okay. I made lemonade somewhere. Yeah, but not a smoothie. Strawberry. So I think that this is the perfect smoothie because he followed my directions perfectly, right? Even though I don't make smoothies at my house, I have people do it for me. I can give them perfect instructions, and they can follow the instructions and look. I mean, that is. There is the perfect mix of like strawberry pulp and banana, not too much yogurt. You did excellent. That is perfect. So every day in our lives, we have to follow instructions, right? Sometimes it's our parents telling us or asking us, hey, go out and wash the car. Anybody ever been told to do that? Yep. Yep. Sometimes it might be your mean old math teacher or that language arts teacher telling you to work out a really complicated math problem. Or they might tell you you have to write an essay. They give you directions on what to do though, right? It could even be your coach. Your coach may tell you to run this certain play at a certain time and we have to be sure that we follow those instructions. And when we follow those instructions, what happens? Yes. Success. Good things happen, right? When Carson followed the instructions, he made the perfect smoothie. And I cannot wait to just finish my cup off. Well, you know, we're not the only people in history that have had to follow instructions. So our parents, our grandparents, everybody throughout history has had to follow instructions. All the way back to the very beginning of time. All the way back to Adam and Eve. Who knows who Adam and Eve is? Who was Adam and Eve? The first people on earth. That's right. So, in the beginning, before God created man and woman, what was there? There was nothing. There was nothing, right? And so God spoke all these things to him into existence. He said, "Let there be light," and what happened? There was light, and let there be earth, and, and, and so God just spoke creation into existence. He spoke the words, and we had all the trees, and the animals, and all the plants, and then when he looked around, and he saw all this greatness, he wanted to share it with somebody, so he created Adam, and after God created Adam, he created Eve, and where did he put Adam and Eve when he created them? In the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden. What do we know about the Garden of Eden? Carson? Uh. They were, uh, they were tempted to eat. Wait, 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 we're not there yet. What do we know about the Garden of Eden? That nobody can see it so far because they ate from the wrong Nah, place. okay. Were the plants and animals dying? Yes. No, were, were, um, so it was perfect, right? The garden was perfect. And as a matter of fact, it was so perfect that Adam and Eve didn't even have to work. So imagine any of you have a garden like at home where you grow tomatoes or squash or okra. So to have a garden, it takes work, right? You have to you have to till the land and you have to plant the seeds and you have to water and you have to make it grow. But in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve didn't have to do any of that. They had to work they did not have to work at all. But there was one direction. God gave them one thing. What was the one direction that God said? Anybody know, Izzy? God said, all of this is yours. You can eat and drink and do whatever you want, but there's one thing that you can't do. And the one thing is don't go to the tree of knowledge of good and evil and eat that fruit. Don't do it. Okay? It's in the, it, I imagine it was probably in the middle and it looked beautiful like all the other plants, 
But God said that's the one thing you can't do. Okay, don't go to the tree of knowledge of good and evil and eat the fruit from it. Okay, so I imagine Adam and Eve, you know, walked around, toured the gardens, did whatever they did to take up their time all day, and then one day Eve is off kind of by herself or separated a little bit from Adam, and what comes along? A serpent. A serpent. What's a serpent? A snake. A snake. And the snake can talk. Okay, and the snake talks to Eve. And let's see what she says. So, who wants to read this for me? All right, read it for me. The serpent said to her, If that really you must not eat the fruit. Take care of any tree that is in the garden. Okay, next. The woman said to the serpent, You can eat the fruit of the trees that are in the garden. Keep going. Okay, one more. Alright, keep going, I'm sorry, there's more. Alright, so this slithery snake sneaks up on Eve and says, did God really tell you that you can't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? And she starts out by saying, no, God told us we could eat all the fruit. We just need to stay away from that. And the serpent says, but why? It's the knowledge of good and evil. Why would God not want you to know the difference between good and evil? It can't really be that bad. Don't you want to be like God and know the difference between good and evil and have the knowledge? So what's the snake really doing to Eve? Tempting her. Yeah, he's tempting her. So what do we know that Eve does? She goes straight to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, pulls the fruit down, and does what? Eats it. She doesn't just eat it. What else happens? Adam. Yeah, she says, hey, Adam. Guess what I did? You should too. And so what does Adam do? Yeah. He eats it too. Did Adam know the direction from God? Did Adam know himself? Did God tell Adam not to eat from the tree? Yes, but what did Adam do too? He did it too. And as soon as they ate the fruit, what do we know? God The Lord God said, who told you that you were naked? Because all of a sudden, Adam and Eve looked at themselves and were ashamed. They realized that they were running around with no clothes on. And before they ate the fruit, it wasn't a big deal. They didn't know. That's how they were created. But all of a sudden, they realized they were naked, so they ran and hid. And while they were hiding... They sewed together some big leaves, right, and made them a little bathing suit looking things, I would imagine. I don't know. The Bible doesn't say. But it does say that they sewed together some clothes, right? And they hid in the garden. Who? Why were they hiding? Okay. Well, well, now they had clothes on, but why, were, why would they have been hiding? They knew they disobeyed God. And so that's what it says right here. The Lord God said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten the fruit of the tree that I commanded you not to eat? The one thing I asked you not to do, you did. So see, Adam and Eve were living in a perfect place. There was no pain. There was no work. Everything was done for them. They had the perfect smoothie. It was perfect. But all of a sudden, they ate from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they ruined their smoothie. So I imagine, to me, that would be like adding some ingredients to my smoothie that I don't normally add. That would be like adding some beanie wings. No, 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 don't yeah. add them, please. No, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. That no, would I be like that. adding beanie wings. Who eats beanie wings with their uh, smoothie? No, oh, don't, don't add it. Don't add it. Don't give me a cup of tea. Do not add it. Protein. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And you don't make it. You didn't follow the simple instructions, right? The one thing that your teacher or your parent or your coach asked you to do, you didn't do. See, when when we ate, when Adam and Eve ate from the garden, sin entered our our existence. Sin entered their life. What is sin? Sin is anything that separates you from God. Anything that separates you from God. And ever since Adam and Eve, we've had sin. See, now there's pain. Has any of you ever been in pain? Uh -huh. Yeah. Not only physical pain, but has your heart ever hurt? Uh -huh. have, and we've all sinned, right? The Bible says we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so anything that we do that separates us from God is sin. So lying, cheating, stealing, being dishonest. Being disrespectful. Have I hit on something that all of us have done before? So we've all sinned. We've all been separated from God. We've all ruined our smoothie. We're beaming. Right? But we do know that there is forgiveness. Right? We can still strive. We can still try to follow those instructions every day. We can still try to have that perfect relationship with God. Even though we know we're going to sin, what do we do when we sin? We should ask forgiveness. Yeah, and that forgiveness came through who? Jesus. Came through Jesus' sacrifice, right? If it weren't for Jesus and his death on the cross and his death and his burial and his resurrection, we wouldn't have that forgiveness. We would be stuck drinking this. I think this is... Yeah, that's the bad one. We'd be stuck drinking this. Okay? So what I want you guys to think about is this right here. What is at stake if you don't obey? What's going to happen if you disobey? If you disobey your math teacher or you disobey um, your coach, you might lose the game. You might not pass the test. You might get grounded by your parents if you disobey. But what happens when we ultimately disobey God? We remain separated, right? We remain separated. I don't want to be separated from God forever. Do you guys? No, that's not what we want. We want to build that bridge. We want forgiveness. So here's what we're going to talk about in Small Group today is how are we going to follow those simple instructions and not be stuck, separated from God. I was going to get Victor to drink the sweet smoothie, but I guess he left out on me. He was afraid. So so let's close in prayer, and then we'll move on to worship today. All right? Everybody, draw your hand and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you so much for this wonderful day, God, and I thank you for every student that is here. God, I just 
thank you for the forgiveness that you provide through your son, Jesus Christ. And God, I just pray that you'll help every student in here, Father, just to be obedient and to follow the directions that you've given. And God, when they're not sure what the directions are, Father, I just pray that you would put an adult in the lives of each and every student that's here, Father, that can guide our students, Lord, and help them to make the decisions um, that you would have them to make. God, thank you again for everything that you've done for us. And we ask all these things in your name. Amen.